Watch the metro swarms of illegal street racers. Rev their engines and put them to the on our road. Rice corporate, the rice is silent. Good YouTube, it's your boy. Rice Corp. And we are back again with another install. And this time, we got our Perrin cold air intake for our WRX STI. Shouldn't be too hard of an install. We should get this done pretty fast. Let's take a look. Subscribed already. We are so close. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe. We are so close to our goal. So, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button. But let's get this done to the negative terminal. If you're on Cobb AP, make sure you have your access port with you because this may reset some things. All right, and we're going to want to undo this here with a screwdriver or your fingers or however. Those two out, you can really just pull this out right there and uh, take a look in here. The fastener is holding the. Uh, intake in all righty it's a little tight of a fit Be careful not to hit your headlight one down there we got to take off i want to unclip these mine just has a little water because i just sprayed the car down and uh i think you can pull the front half of the air box out Thing was tight bro <laughs> yeah you weren't kidding you weren't kidding this thing was tight jesus christ all right so that's out look how much room there is Jesus. to pull out the air in the map sensor with your screwdriver right here i need a smaller one don't be like me. My ass forgot my tools are in my trunk and I did the power so I can't get into my trunk. I mean, I unhooked the power, so we're gonna have to. I don't have this screwdriver, so I've got someone bringing one for me. So I'm gonna go and skip to the next step, but you guys can go and do that part. Plug this real quick. And uh, undo this. Loosen this clamp. I recommend the flat head, but again, I do not have one on me. One on me. I'm just so. I do not have anything I should have on me right now. Just loosening this up slowly. Pretty much just. Pull this out again. I don't have my mass airflow. I mean, a screwdriver to take out the mass airflow. I got somebody coming bringing me one, so I will just set this to the side so nothing can get in here. Okay, loosen um, this next clamp. Pretty easy. You can use a flathead. I just use some pliers because it's not that tight. You gotta loosen. You can pretty much just pull the other one out. Be careful not to spill. I mean, how to, not to lose this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here. Oh, actually, we need a spacer first. What side it is? Just this one. Put this here. It's gonna be the slot side. We're gonna put it like this, and we're gonna put. Another spacer. And then we're going to put a nut. We're going to tighten it so that it sits like this. Put that in there with a the spacer and hook it down. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Scrap this whole video, y'all, because what I did not know is that the WRX and the STI uses a different intake. There's absolutely no way to make this fit. Like, there's really no way at all. Like, 
even trying to put this all the way over here like this. It's not fitting. Like this is not fitting, bro. Fuck. Alright, so we are gonna cut the video here. And I'm gonna return this or I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna get one for the STI. This was it. Rice Corp, but the rice is silent.